when it is the the evening of the event um, and kind of what the energy is like. And I know you're you're a veteran now in these circles, mm-hmm. but I imagine that this is probably it's it's, you know, if you have a new composer coming in, let's say they just had some big film with some well-known score or whatever, they're playing that that for the first time that it's probably a little bit daunting it's, to come into a place like that and then have people filing in and filling up the state. And what is the energy like in, uh, in those experiences, it's, in those events? It is an overwhelming experience for the orchestra and the conductor and the composer and the audience. I assume you guys have been to these, right? Some of these? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. The, the oh, yeah. joy, I don't know how else to describe it. And it sounds... It just sounds so silly, but it's the joy of sitting together, watching a movie, and it's live, and there's kind of a danger aspect to it. How the hell are they going to get through this? And to, I, 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 and, yeah. But from the stage, the joy that... And this is what I think these institutions were so surprised about, was the the joy in the audience, how much the audience that comes to this loves this and, and wants to be there and is forgiving. And it's a, it's a completely different experience than a, a, a regular concert in a way, not that a regular concert couldn't or shouldn't feel like this. Uh, where we are as an audience is very different than how this all started, you know, in, in the, the late, uh, 18th century, but it it is it is you 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 can't help but smile. I I don't know. How, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it, as they laugh and 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 the orchestras, you know, they're very jaded orchestras. I mean, they're they're a tough group. These guys, you know, and um, they just can't. You just can't help it. It just it imbues you with you know, like. I'll tell you how we. I have. I don't know if I did. I tell you the West Side Story and New York Philharmonic story that's germane to this question. I don't think so. Okay, we did 2011 West Side Story, the 61 movie, right? Natalie Wood, Richard Beamer, um, you know George Shakiris, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Riff. Uh, what's his name? Oh, he's going to kill me. I'm forget. Uh, uh, Russ Tamblin, right? So uh, we did it at the Bowl. All those guys came, like Walter Mirisch, it was it was his company that did it. Um, George Kears came, uh, uh, Russ Tamblin came, da, da, da. there were a lot of people. And we, we wanted to introduce them to the audience, but we really didn't know what was going on. We didn't really know, you know. So I remember finishing the overture for West Side Story and the whole place fucking screaming, like screaming for like halfway through that that that, that opening after after it ends. Because it ends and it goes to that stupid Sound of Music aerial shot that he used later in Sound of Music. <laughs> um, and um, we thought, eh, yeah, this, hey, maybe, maybe, this, maybe we're on to something with this. Okay, So we go to New York. We only had two rehearsals in New York. Big mistake. But um, we learned that, you know, the first time West Side Story, is, two rehearsals is not enough. But at New York... Marnie Nixon was there. A bunch of the Jets were there. A bunch of the Sharks. The girl, Velma was there. Mar- uh, uh, Sid Raymond, who was the arranger, you know, w- w- was there. Walter was there. And Kurt Ker- and, and uh, Russ and um, George, who had won Academy. The only one that wasn't there was, um, was uh, uh, what's her face? Um, Anita. Uh, you know, I forget the actor's name. Um, uh, you know, who was... Uh, just in it, uh, the the new one. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm blanking. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so Rita, yeah, no. Rita Moreno, I'm, Rita that's Moreno. Right, yes. Okay, so who, who uh-huh. won an Academy Award for it? Right? Uh, she didn't. She didn't show up. Um, it, Wesley Story has a very weird history, which I won't get into. But um, so at intermission, they allowed us to. We were going to introduce the guys. So I just came out. I didn't even practice. I had a sheet. I just read off a sheet. So I started reading names. And the audience started going like crazy. By the time I got to, you know, Marty Nixon, uh, you know, uh, who, who the hell knows who she is? They all knew who she was. They all knew what she had done, right? All the 50s movies she had sung, you know, uh, 
you know, all that stuff with my father and, and, and my fair lady and, you know, all that. But when I read George and Russ's name, they were seated downstairs. The whole audience with their cameras and everything, it stopped for 25 minutes, the show. They just would not stop wow. clapping. So when we, we had no idea that was going to happen. So the next night when we did it, we put them up in the balcony because it was almost scary how this New York sophisticated audience went insane. I mean, insane. Yeah, very like disruptive. Ru- yeah. And so I think at that point we thought, all of us that were doing this, that we're kind of on to something. There's something about this. And I don't know that we've figured it out exactly yet as to my point of how we started this conversation. But there is something about film music that's ours in the States, kind of, that's 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 ours growing up. You know, I grew up in the 70s. Uh, we just... We just listened to that book, um, uh, Leave the Gun, Take the Cannoli, the story of the making of Godfather. And there's a, there was a great uh, uh, doc about it. It, it. I mean, you know, that's, that is my era of, 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 you know, that's when I was in my 20s and everything. You know, I, I, I have a great love for movies. Whatever I think of movies now or, you know, bad or good, the way it cycles and everything, there's just something particularly American and artful and cultural about movies and the music is to me one if not the most artful part of it that really hasn't been vetted yet and um uh, the, the more i know about the more i learn about my father the more i learn about the 30s and the 40s and these guys that most people you know i'm obsessed now with hugo friedhofer who did best years of our lives but a ton of other stuff and worked a ton with my father, and I met him. I didn't know anything about him except I love that score. But he's done all this other stuff, and then you start reading what they write, what they talk about. These guys were like brilliant, you know. It's it's a it's an untapped historical American kind of uh, endeavor that I'm hoping. And these orchestras playing this stuff is such a good way into this stuff. 